The best time to deal with a customer complaint is before they make one. This is one of my favorite Sandler rules because it reminds me of an old joke, when should you tell your spouse or partner that you love them? Before somebody else does. So what happens when we have a new client here is that we need to be proactive in our communication. If we told them it was gonna ship on Monday and it's not gonna ship on Monday, we need to tell them as soon as we find out. Be proactive, get ahead of those customer complaints and make sure you have a top-notch relationship with your customer because we want repeat business, we want referrals, we want lifetime clients and we want them to be happy throughout the process. It's okay, some bad things happen, but when you get ahead of it, you can keep a client on your side. Anything at all that I've detected was a hesitation, a stumbling block, a I'm not 100% convinced. I want to go back and make sure that there are no issues. The other thing is if I know, for example, that once somebody becomes a customer, that on our end, on our process, that maybe, maybe our process is not fully refined and sometimes there's a bit of a hiccup, meaning maybe it takes sometimes up to a week before our customer care team reaches out. Well, if they sign the paperwork today and I say, great, next step is, our customer care team will reach out their timeline in their mind might be they're going to hear from them same day or next day if i know it's not going to be for another week it could be up to a week as long as i share that with them it won't be a problem if they don't know that and they wait a week and finally the customer care team reaches out they could be harboring all sorts of you know anxiety about the fact that it took so long that i make the right decision now i don't feel appreciated whereas it was all about expectations to begin with. So this rule is really about managing expectations about what might be happening next and also making sure that anything that might have been sticky is no longer an issue. Whenever we're on an account management call or a client has a request about how we run a program or our product, I try not to commit to anything. I always want to make sure that I take a moment to pause, really think about what are the downstream effects before instead of committing to something and then finding out that we either can't deliver it to the quality that we would want to or that it's not possible at all worst case scenario and so i love just taking a pause and saying thank you for this suggestion let us mull it over and see how we can execute this for you and then we can take a moment as a team to really discuss you know who's owning what there's a racy model who's responsible for certain actions who's accountable for performing them you know who do we consult what are the other departments that are being impacted by these decisions and lastly who do we need to inform of these changes because when we're thinking about a global team you know there's so many people involved and we have to think about the communications that need to go out so that everyone is on the same page. Discuss this Sandler rule with your sales team and think about how you can apply it in your sales process. And don't forget, you can join us live in Orlando for the Sandler Summit. We're gonna be getting our best trainers and our top clients from around the world together. Go to sandler.com summit for more information.